welcome back to Crochet My House. So I've been pretty busy lately. We've been on a couple of different adventures as a family. And we went up to Inverness recently, which is quite a long way. And I just thought I would say that if you're ever visiting Scotland or if you live in Scotland or whatever, you should definitely head up towards Inverness. And on the way, if you can, stop in Newton Moor at the Newton Moor Grill truck stop. It is a wonderful little like cafe, has plenty of different food options and um, great service. We really enjoyed it. it was really and good. then if you do get up to Inverness and you have a look around, do enjoy the different things to see. But I would definitely recommend if you're there to go to the lovely little sweet shop they have. I can't remember the name of it off my, the top of my head, but it's really, really pretty. It looks like something out of Hogwarts. It's got jars and jars of sweets up the walls and has a beautiful window display. So you should definitely re go there and like find it and enjoy it because I would recommend it. And we will show some of the sweets and things we got while we were there. But we are going to start off with books. So we'll, we're going to cut it up into pieces and um, put it together in a video sequence as I usually do. And so the first little section will be just books. And I'm going to start with Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. So I managed to get my hands on all the books and I just thought it would be a really fun idea to read them. So this is The Hobbit, a really nice picture from the movie there. And it's got the whole story inside. There aren't many pictures but there are a few like this one, which I quite like. I like having pictures in my book sometimes. Because sometimes they, they just help tell the story a little, I feel. And it has a um, map at the front. There we are, here's the map. Which is quite nice. And I'm looking forward to reading this. And of course, as I said, I did get all of the Lord of the Rings ones. So we have... Lord of the Rings and the Fellowship of the Ring. Lord of the Rings and the Two Towers. And Lord of the Rings and the Return of the King. All very good stories. I've watched all the movies over and over and over again. Um, I think I have had this one read to me when I was little. I just, I really enjoy the stories and I thought it'd be fun to give it a go and read them. Obviously they are pretty big books, so for someone like me who's not like an amazing reader, it will take me some amount of time, but I'm sure I will enjoy it. And if you want to hear more about me reading, I could try and fit in a segment in my videos more often where I show books, because I have been reading. Currently, I'm focusing on finishing the Wandering Wombles book, which is fun. Um, I also got this curious little book out of a little place called The Learning Tree Partnership, which I think was in our grove. Um, this was The Circus Adventure, and I have a couple of the books. But I don't have this one and it's a little story about mice on a sort of fantastical adventure you could see one of the mice here and there are the occasional pictures in here as you can see it's not as um long winded of a read as the hobbit obviously because it's more geared to somebody who needs lighter reading. They might say it's a children's book. 
right. I, I like a variety of books. Next up, I have some Harry Potter books. Now, I am slowly working on collecting up the series. I actually had the whole series once upon a time when I was younger. It, um, now I'm recollecting up the series. And I have the first one here, The Philosopher's Stone. I have the second one, which is The Chamber of Secrets. And then I have the Deathly Hallows, which happens to be the last one. And I do have a bookmark in here. I haven't actually started reading. I just popped in a bookmark ready to read it. But I am looking forward to reading them. Because I do somewhat remember being them read to me, but I thought it'd be fun to read them myself. And Cecile has some books to show as well. My Little Pony books. So what are the different ones you've got there? I've got Rarities. Rarity and the Curious Case of Charity. Applejack. And the Secret Diary uh, Switch. No. Awkward angle to read out. Switcheroo. Pinkie Pie. And Rockin' Pony Party. And Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash and the Daring Do Double Dare. So that's interesting. We do have some of the other My Little Pony books. I've got them. Twilight and Fluttershy. And um, what's the other book you've got to show? Pilgrim's Progress. Pilgrim's Progress. And what's that about, Cecile? Okay. It's, um... I'll just read the back for you to roughly know what it is. It fresh retelling of this classic story recounts the adventures and perils of Christians on his dangerous journey from the city of destruction to the celestial city. And um, we actually had a board game for this a while back and we did really enjoy it. And I saw this and I thought Cecile would enjoy reading it. So obviously she hasn't read this yet. And it's just got a mixture of the different stories and lots of pictures, fully coloured illustrations. And I just thought it was a nice book. Moving on, as we were saying, we were going to show the sweets from the lovely little sweet shop in Inverness. And I'm going to start showing these. So these are violet creams. They're kind of like Parma violets. Kind of a very nice, sweet, They're kind of floral, like rocks. floral taste. It's really nice. And I also got something else I really love, which are gummy peaches. They're good. And these are the best gummy peaches I've ever had. So that's another great reason to go there. Oh, uh, drumstick. This is a British classic. And it's huge. And a necklace. And we have a necklace. We did have other sweets, but obviously we ate some of them. So we're just showing what we have left from our trip. The, um, yes, necklace. Um, it's just a hard sweet. Here it's kind of like our fizzer sweets. And for our American friends, 
I think the closest thing to this would maybe be Smarties, but maybe a little bit on the sweeter side. They they are nice. They're fun novelty for kids. Then we have some other interesting objects. I got these two hair clips. So they're the um, butterfly style. So they kind of open up like that and they go like that and you have the little wings. Butterfly. You could also say it, um, it's kind of like big claws. But I, I thought they were really pretty with their little blue pattern. And so I got those. And to go along with those hair things, I found these. So these are hair curlers. And you may have already noticed, I do sometimes curl my hair. Now there's two ways I personally do this. I will take a pen or a pencil or a stick that's about this length. And I will wrap my hair around it and then hold it and put in hairpins and leave it like that and it'll curl it. I also have kind of curling noodles, which they're basically a big long stick like that with foam on the outside and they're flexible. So you roll them up and then you bend them over to put it in. And then I saw these and I, I really wanted them. So these are a style you may very well have seen your grand use. It, you put it on just like the other two, you roll it up. But this one, you push this piece on and that holds the thing in place. And then you leave it and it curls it. And um, yeah, I've been wanting a set of these for a very long time. And you can see I do have two slightly different ones. They do look different. But they were just in a bag in a charity shop and I really wanted them. So I got those. And we also have some so over here. So we have my favourite generation of My Little Pony which is right here. I don't know her name yet, I haven't looked her up, but she is super pretty. Her tail needs a little bit of work, but otherwise she is in pretty pristine condition. I have wiped her down, so she's not got any dirt on her now, but she is in great, a great state for how old she is. And still got all her sparkle. We also have this doll, which is like another one we showed a while ago, back here. Um, yeah, I found this one and she's in even nicer condition than the other one. I literally don't need to do anything to her hair. Like we gave it a quick brush to bring it back down into position, but really I'm not having to restyle hers. Um, she did need wiping down, she's still got her dress and she's still got shoes. It, I just thought she was still cute and of course she's got a little bubble head. Don't have a name for her yet, I also haven't looked her up so I don't know what her name is. Although she reminds, oh yeah we did look Donatia. Yeah, that's, that was her name. I don't know if we're going to stick with that name, we might. But um, when I look at her besides her dress, like if I ignore her dress, she reminds me of Bubblegum. She does. And I, I kind of want to call her Bubblegum or something, or Bubblegum Princess. The reason her um, name is Donatia Princess, whatever, she, you, she did come with a crown, which she doesn't have. But... Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to stick to the donut name. I kind of want to call her Bubblegum Princess. You could comment down below what you think. And I did see someone did comment names for that doll there. And the Welly Wisher. 
I didn't write them down. I'll have to look them up again to see what they are. But we may very well be using the names because I did like them. And the last two things that I have over here that are not crochet related is I've got this lovely cardigan. So it's a bright mustard and then it has this beautiful collar detail, nice little lacy detail and then nice buttons. And I, I just really liked it. So that's one thing. And then the other thing is this lovely shirt, which is super pretty and floaty. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I am wearing dungarees, which I also got recently. And I think this is going to look absolutely beautiful under these dungarees. And we've got one more thing. We've got a board game here, Wind in the Willows. Yes. It's this amazing. was a fun find. Um, if you don't know Wind in the Willows, it's a really, really good classic book. It is also being made into a sort of cartoon multiple different times. But it's mainly about Ratty and Mo and all their friends at the river. And we have the game board, which kind of shows different parts of the story. So that's really neat. And it does have its instructions in the box. And I'm going to show you the absolute best part here. The playing pieces are actually the characters. So this is Badger. And this is Toadie. Molly. Molly and Ratty. Yeah. They're so cute. Let me bring them a lot closer. Like so. And they're very well done. Very good paint jobs. There aren't really any sloppy parts about them. And I just really liked it. So we got that. It's cute extra detail. Instead of just, you know, the regular game pieces that are just red, blue, green, and yellow. I actually got the characters. And so that was a really nice thing. Oh, and we have some games to show. We recently got a Wii, and if you don't know what a Wii is, it's a older console that connects to your TV. It came out before the Wii U and before the Switch. And we thought we'd show you a couple of the games. So we got this one just the other day there. It's Dance on Broadway, which is kind of like Just Dance. And then I picked up a selection of our favourite games to show you. So we have Carnival. And this is just a selection of Funfair games. And they're really fun. You could hit ducks, throw, throw balls into hoops. Do that um, squirt game where you squirt the water into the clown's mouth to blow up a balloon. Really fun. Then we have Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. And this was really cool. I haven't finished it, obviously. But um, I have been playing it. And it reminds me a lot of the old PC games I used to play. And it's got a similar style. Um, the PC games I played were like the first movie. So you were hunting for jelly beans and climbing and doing all sorts of different spells. I did kind of get stuck in the game because... I'm not very good at games, but I did enjoy it, and this really reminds me of that. And I'm actually doing pretty okay. I'm a lot better at games than I used to be. Still, I wouldn't say I'm like a gamer, but I can manage to play this game well enough so far to climb up. I can do quite a few of the spells, and um. It has the Marauder's Map, 
involved which really helps me i don't have to try and find where i'm going i just go on the more orders map and i click on the task i'm doing and it puts like a oh marker where i'm to go and then like you see the footprints on the more orders map it shows you on the ground you follow it and you get there and the last one the one of my old Pulsar favorites Park. from when we used to have the wii is Pooka park pikachu's adventure and um just as fun as i remember um and we also found out there is a Pooka park 2 um so that was kind of cool if i ever see it i would love to um play that as well we've got one movie that we both love and this is the secrets of nim very good movie it's uh, about a mouse needing to save her family because um harvard sees well the season for planting is starting and the farmer needs to get into the area of ground and they need to get the rats to help them which they were involved in the science experiment before they ended up there you really have to watch it to know what it's about and the last thing is this ds game which is titanic secrets of the fateful voyage and it's like a search and find game and i thought it'd be fun to play so that's all of those things Right, so we both have projects to show. I have been working busily on the socks. So the last time you would have seen it, I had one like this and one up here. Well, now I have this one and it has the heel part. All right, and it's got the heel shape there. And then I have the second one, which I've gotten past the heel part and I'm shaping this part which is the gusset and which will bring it into the length of the foot and then the toe so i am getting really close to finishing these can't wait to get them done and then get to work on a bunch of other projects and cecile i'm doing a hat she is making a hat which is a pattern by uh, fiber spider i think she's doing it by and um here is a look at the yarn and it's one of those hat cakes so it comes with a cute um pom pom and enough yarn to make a hat it's a, i'm doing the v stitch yes and she's doing the v stitch and it does look really nice there's the v stitch uh-huh. That's our projects. Right, lastly, we have all of the crochet related stuff to show. I'm going to show patterns first. Um, do you have two cross stitch patterns as well? We have Eeyore and some flowers and I, we have a couple of knitting patterns as well which are for my aunt to do starting up with these lovely sock patterns so we have twisted violet I really like it. Oh, super cute. Then we have the checkered pattern for the socks. And then lastly, we have on the vine, which is a super cute pair of yellow ones. My aunt has never actually done socks, but I thought it'd be cool for her to get rid of gold. And we have this knitting book, which actually does have a handful of crocheted things in it, as well as all the knitting. Suppose 
with her arms inside. There's one of the crocheted ones. But it's a really nice booklet. And we have this pattern. I really, really like this jumper. And then we have this lovely cardigan. And got a little blanket set, which is again crochet and knitting. All three patterns are lovely. And a little bit more cross stitch here. We have chickens. A different chicken there. And we've got geese. And we've got ducks. And I just thought they were all extremely cute and at some point I would like to do them. And we've got a blanket with some lovely flower squares. And two magazines. And I'll just briefly show you some of the patterns. These are all older patterns, they're not current because I just found them in charity shop and liked them. Bunny's cute. It's adorable. Butterflies. And this lovely cardigan. Fairly simple blanket, pretty squares, Sean the Sheep characters, hang decoration, super cute doorstop. Doggy little stocking chubby cat. And a super sweet bubble cover. That's all of the patterns, and we have some yarn to show as well, starting with some cream. We've got this lovely mixture here of variegated purple, pink and cream. This one actually has a ball band, this is Magic DK Yarn. And it's 100% acrylic. Doesn't have a colour name. But it's purples, pinks and white. And I got several balls of this here. Which is King Cole Cotton Top DK. It's shade is Rose. 100 grams. And it's 78% premium acrylic and 22% cotton. And it's a really nice pink with little flecks of white through it. 
we have a yarn by Wendy's. Okay, just about to see it. Um, Mia, Ma, Mia, my DK. So I don't know. Don't know exactly how you say that. That is it there. By Wendy's. Um, it's fifty grams. 50% cotton, 50% acrylic, it's made in Germany and it's a lovely green colour. Next we have Super Fingering Four Ply Bellman's and it's 80% wool, 20% nylon. And it's a grey, so this is for like socks. And we have Cerder Cashmere Merino Silk DK 50 grams. It's 75% extra fine merino. 20% silk and 5% cashmere. And it's a lovely brown. Um, West Yorkshire Spinners. I'm not seeing a um, colour on it as such. Oh, I have found it. It's saddle brown. Very pretty. And then last we we have Clastic Yarns RY, not sure. Luxury Cotton DK, 50% cotton, 45% viscose and 5% silk, 50 grams. And this one definitely does not have a colour name. It is a sort of light brown with a light green and it is very very pretty. I will try my best to get as many pictures of all the things in as well so that you could see them in between the different bits of video. So remember to like, comment, subscribe and ring the bell for notifications every time we put up a video. Hi. Hello. And <laughs> Newton Moore. Welcome back to Crochet at My House. <laughs> <Is that> <laughs>